Hi, in this video I would like to show you on how to do the asset retirement. So, so far uh, we have done uh, the transactions like a master data and also um, uh, the, 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 the transactions for the acquisition and also asset under construction. So now uh, we came to the, the, the another stage where actually sometimes uh, the normal business uh, you need to be able to sell those assets uh, after utilizing um, those assets for a specific period of time. So there may be various reasons why the, the asset will be sold. So the asset can be sold. Uh, here um, in, in, in the transaction, I would like to show you to do that, you need to go to the accounting, financial accounting, fixed assets and posting. So here are the retirement. So the retirement having a, a different transaction. So one is a, with customer, without customer, scrapping and also uh, after you scrap maybe if you receive any subsequent revenues or if you incur subsequent cost so those can be um, uh, accounted uh, in the financial accounting also so here i would like to uh, show you so i'm going to um, show you all these and uh, the as a starting point yes i would like to show you on how to do with the customer yeah so so now uh, to do this um, uh, transaction, um, so um, I would like to show you on how to do the retirement. So to do the uh, asset retirement, you need to go to the F-92. Then uh, I am uh, taking an asset which is already having the depreciation, which is uh, um, uh, 3007, which is the furniture I want to retire. And uh, uh, so I will show you how to retire this asset using F-92. So here so far, this asset was acquired on March and then we calculate the depreciation. Yeah, so then uh, until and the, uh, today as of March, uh, the depreciation is posted. If you see here, uh, where the depreciation is posted is 833.33. So the total acquisition cost is 10,000 and now the net book value is 9166.67. So now when you do the retirement, so let's say if you sell this asset for same price, 10,000, then this should be your profit. And if you, if you, if you, if you sell for 9,000, then the 166.67 is your loss and um, based on the depreciation calculation here so i'm going to show you both the scenarios but uh, yeah i will only post uh, as a one scenario so but i will simulate and show the these two scenarios so here um to 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 see the transaction you can see before uh, posting the transaction i would like to show you what is the account determinations maintained for the our asset here so account determination is 30,000 so how to identify the account determination you can check from the master data so from the master data you can go here so this is the account determination so for this account determination what are the accounts is mapped you can easily check so to do that you can go to a 90 I don't know some in the real system you may be having access uh, display for sure for the uh, key users, then you click on the 30,000 and then go to the balance sheet accounts. So here, this is the clearing account for sales. So you must use this account to do the retirements um, in the asset. So I will show you that, how to do that. So now you go, so now what happens, we are in the June. So before running the depreciation, June month closing, I am going to retire this in the middle of the month. So let's say I will go to the transaction here. What I explained, um, F-92 with customer. So 1506 2020, 1506 2020. So um, retire. So the customer I should choose uh, from the drop down list. Company code 2800, 
So um, I'm going to choose uh, any of these uh, customers. So let's say I'm using a 301329. Press enter. So um, I will show you on just uh, first loss. So we are selling for 9,000 um, CNY. So again here, there is a debit and credit is actually the GL account. So the GL account is where you can see this is the GL account. You must use, enter, don't need to enter any transaction, you yeah? know. So press enter. So now you can press star. It will copy all the value. Press enter. So the cost center um, is actually, you can use the same cost center what the asset is using. So here, the cost center for me is 4130. I'm going to use the same cost center. So now, Yeah, uh, due to some technical setup, I think in the back end, it is asking for the cost object uh, for this, uh, since this is a sales account. So I'm just uh, entering um, here. So the, regarding the cost object, either you can enter a sales order or, or uh, maybe um, uh, the order number. So I, 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 I entered only the order number. So now after you done this and then you will see a small tiny box here. So here, if you look into this, this is a small tiny box. So this will appear for this GL account, which is a sales where it is mapped in the 190. So you need to maintain this checkbox and then press enter, enter again. So now the system will show a new screen where you need to enter the asset number which is 3007 in our case 3007 so now asset value date is 15062020 so from this date it has to stop depreciating yeah so now i am going to enter amount uh, same 9000 or you can leave it blank it will automatically copy. So, and you can check on the line items if you want. Uh, you don't want to, uh, uh, then, sorry. Uh, so, after you click OK. Yeah, so here what the system is showing here is you can either enter the amount or a complete retirement. So, you can't select both. So, I just choose complete because if you are retiring the partial the portion of the asset then you can enter here otherwise just always check this box so then uh, if you check this box here then the system always do a complete retirement so every transaction in asset accounting will be recorded with the transaction type so we will go into the deep dive of these transaction types in the next sessions uh, in advanced topic. So since this is an end user, I'm not uh, uh, training you on these uh, transaction type level, more details, yeah? So um, uh, in this, uh, you can click OK. So now the system has copied all the properties. Now document overview, press enter. So now the system show the document, hey, I enter the asset, where the asset gone, and how much is the loss. So now document and simulate. So you have to simulate is in, 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 in any case, whether it can be a normal document or um, uh, any document. So when you do the simulation, then the system will be able to calculate correctly. So now you can see here. So what happens? So this is a, a good stuff, yeah? So uh, if you see here, 
um, I will explain uh, the account determinations. So all the account determinations is happened from here to here because uh, this part this part you entered and this also second part also you entered so all these um, came by the system automatically by default so now if you look into the asset so um, we have actually do a retirement for let's say 10,000 okay this is a 10,000 which will be your revenue and which is posting um, um, uh, into the sorry sorry so this is the revenue which is 9,000 which is posting to the customer leg yeah so um, in the case of 10,000 it's a combination of uh, both your profit or loss as well so here if you look into the asset before I post I will show you here so now if you look into this asset actually the system do here um, you can see is 9166.67 so here 9,000 9, only you are gaining so now this is the 10,000 is your cost accumulated depreciation is taking out by the system and then the this is a the balance the remaining is actually the system is booking as your gain or loss where the account determination is available here 560 which is this loss so the account determination where you is is maintained by the consultants maybe even um, you guys also have a quick overview on this account determination too. so I'm showing this so this is where uh, they will maintain what is the default account for the loss for the account determination which is relating to the fixed assets account determination yeah so um, now I'm going to show post this document so before posting you can see this is how the asset looks like and the depreciation is looking like this so now you click on post so it came due to some error uh, it's asking a PS texture which is I don't have the PS texture so maybe I should use a different customer yeah due to some technical issue actually um, we can't use the account what we have uh, used here so far so I created a new account uh, for that particular slash n a o nine zero so those will be explained um, on the advanced level so I don't want to go deep dive uh, here so now when you go to the accounting here so the sales account I have created for the set is there is a clearing account I created so now click on save so I'm going to use this clearing account so the advantage uh, for this account is when you are doing the retirement uh, the system automatically pop up the mandatory field for the retirement field so which will be helpful so here 50 and uh, go to the account which is three then star press enter you see now I made this as a required field so when I click this button click OK so enter um, the details complete retirement click OK and then yeah so overview now if you simulate the system will show the simulation here so now I act as I explained previously um, so I just click on save so now the system should be able to post the retirement document so once the document is posted the system will show the document is posted so now I go to the asset explorer uh, to see the details here so now you see this asset will be having net book value should be zero and uh, there should be a loss of uh, uh, 
166 should be recorded. So you can see here the ordinary depreciation is reversed uh, here uh, uh, with the value adjustment as a positive um, and you can see. So there's no depreciation is calculating with effect from the month of uh, June um, because the June you are actually retired this asset. So the, the depreciation no more is going to calculate. Yeah, thank you. So uh, next session I'm going to explain on uh, partial retirement um, uh, uh, and uh, also the scrap. So different scenarios uh, for the asset sale. Thank you.